Hey everyone, it's Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog, and welcome back to The Fab Five! Today we'll be talking about one of my favorite brands, Becca Cosmetics. Now, whenever I think of Becca, I think elegant, feminine makeup that it's just, it's beautiful, but it's not stuffy, if you know what I mean. They are a brand out of Australia, and whenever um, I think of like their blushes or like their highlighters, to me it evokes like imagery of like makeup that I could wear to like a beachside kind of cocktail party, but also to like go hang out with my friends and like catch some waves. If, as if I'd just be posting up <laughs> on the beach. I, you know, you know me, I would be like on the longboard in the water. But if I was just hanging out that day, I would definitely wear Becca makeup. Um, and it's a brand that I bring all the time with me whenever I travel and if I'm going to some sort of tropical place, like if I'm going to Hawaii to go see relatives, yeah, Becca is definitely in my makeup bag. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first product today for number one, one out of Fab Five is Becca's Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation. Girl, I love this stuff. Okay, when this first came out, I, I'm not kidding. I wore it like every day for like months. This is a beautiful foundation and I'd say it's halfway between like a tinted moisturizer and like a full on full coverage foundation and you can build it up, you can shear it down um, and it it photographs beautifully and it also looks beautiful in real life um, and it covers everything without looking like fake or heavy. Um, what else? Oh, it's also water resistant so it lasts a really long time. Like. I'm not kidding, I can put this on in the morning and if I have like a long day ahead of me, like I don't know if there's an event I have to go to or if I know that like I just, I'm not gonna have time to switch up my makeup look between like different sort of, um, I don't know, things like events or whatever, um, I will wear this foundation and 12, 14 hours in, it still looks really fresh. Um, and with just like minimal touch-ups with, with powder on top, usually um, I'll wear this with any powder. I think it looks pretty with um, Chanel's loose powder. It also looks very, very pretty with Hourglass's um, powder foundation. So yeah, great product. I didn't know if I mentioned this, but I wear the shade Bamboo. All right, okay, so number two on the Fab Five list is Becca's Beach Tint in Dragon Fruit. These are wonderful. Um, like the foundation, the Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation, gosh, that's a mouthful. This is also water uh, resistant. I'm pretty sure it's water resistant. It might be waterproof. Anyway, I, all I know is, is that you put this on your cheeks and it does not budge for nothing. And that's even if you like go swimming, as long as you know, granted you're not like touching your face or whatever, it'll stay on for a really long time. So you can wear this on cheeks, you can wear it on lips. Um, Dragon Fruit is just one of the shades. I happen to really love this color um, just because it's kind of a poppy pink and it's not too warm nor too cold so you cold too warm nor too cool so you can wear it with a bunch of different like different eye looks um yeah another if you're not really into pink you can also check out watermelon that's another good one i wore that for years before i discovered dragon fruit all right number three on the list is shimmering skin perfector in opal Love, love, love this. This is one of those kind of like unsung heroes. I don't understand why people don't rave about this more often because I know I, I love this product. Um, you know Max Stroh cream? This is kind of like Max Stroh, but like a peachier version of it. Let's just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Um, see that? It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. And when you work it in, it's just this like totally just flattering sort of peachy highlighter, liquid highlighter. And you can use this um, both on your face and your body. And um, if I wear this on my face, I usually like to do just a couple dots all over this, the skin. And then I'll put like a tinted moisturizer on top. This looks beautiful underneath NARS Pure Radiant. It just kind of like peeks through, it's super pretty. So your skin looks really luminous and like um, kind of glowy, but not shiny. But here's the thing is that I don't really like to wear this a lot for pictures because it does have that little, um, it does have that luminescence to it, so in pictures it doesn't translate as well as it does in real life. It can look shiny in pictures, so just that's something to be careful of. Um, but in real life, absolutely gorgeous. Um, not, it only, okay, I don't know why, but I'm like so excited right now. I had some tea like right after lunch and I'm like, ah. Okay, anyway, so not only does it look good just like layered 
underneath like foundations or tinted moisturizers. You can also use it um, as on top of the cheekbones like a liquid highlighter. If you're gonna wear this on your body, you just mix a little bit into your regular body lotion and then like put it all over your arms and your legs. You can have like a Beyonce moment. I wish every moment was a Beyonce moment, not gonna lie. Okay. Number four on this list of fab fives, Rebecca. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Press, which is basically the pressed version of the um, liquid shimmering skin perfectors. Oh my gosh, it's a little hard to say that and not like trip all over my tongue. Anyway, I love this shade in Opal, but big fat old tears rolling down my cheeks this morning because look, I opened the pan up and I held it upside down. I don't know why. I just, I held it upside down like this and it completely fell out. I am so agitated because <sighs> I wear this. I wear this all the time. Anyway, it's like a peachy, sort of beigey, sort of gold, just beautiful highlighter. And here it is on the back of my hand. Um, and yeah, basically this is the pressed version of the liquid shimmering skin perfectors. Sorry, I have rain part right there. Um, and Opal's not the only shade that they have. They also have Moonstone, which is also gorgeous. This is more of like a cooler pale gold. Here it is right there. That's beautiful on lights, lighter skin tones. Um, and their newest version, which is rose gold. And that's this right here. And let me show you, the pan is really cool. It's got these kind of like geometric designs in it. So basically I use these all the time for more tradi traditional highlighting. Like if I'm going to do full on makeup, like primer, foundation, powder, blush, the whole nine yards, I'm going to pop this on the top of my cheekbones on top of, um, my blush. And what I love about it is that it's, it's so forgiving. Like it, it's like, um, you know, like mineral, like there's certain highlighters, like the Mac mineralized skin finish, finishes, which are absolutely beautiful, but they're not always the easiest to wear, especially like if you're in your thirties or forties and you have kind of, you know, some fine lines or like bigger pores, um, those really frosty sort of high shine highlighters can look very harsh and you, you just can see everything. And these highlighters, even though they are, um, they've got a bit of shine to them and they're, they're much more dramatic compared to uh, something like MAC Light Sweep, um, it's still very forgiving. So if you've got a more mature skin, these are great. Love, love, love them. Okay, the last item on our list of Fab Five are the Becca Mineral Blushes. Oh, babe, these are so pretty and they come in six shades and I almost, I don't know, I just almost, I, I, I just couldn't figure out which one to pick because they're all really pretty. They're just these, this line of beautiful blushes that, um, they're easy to blend, they last all day, they don't look heavy or fake or harsh on the skin, like you're not gonna ever put um, these blushes on and feel like you look kind of clownish. They're just really easy to use. And whenever I have friends who are like, oh, I want to try blush, I scoot them over to the Becca um, line and I say, you should pick one of these because they're really easy to use. Anyway, I guess if I had to pick one, it would be this one and it is Flower Child. And Flower Child is like a peachy pink with golden highlights and I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. Um, and this, seriously, oh, I ran out of swatching room. This goes with like every sort of pink or peach lip color that you have around imaginable. It's really, really pretty. and. Um, it has that sort of quality that the shimmering skin perfector, perfector press powders have in that like you get this beautiful luminous glow, but at the same time, it's not like hard or harsh. So damselfly is a good one. Another good one is flower child and flower child is a, um, oh, I'm like, seriously, I'm losing my mind. Okay. Flower Child is the good one. This is, is a good one. Um, and my pick, if you had to pick just one, this is the peachy pink with golden highlights. Another good one is Damselfly, which is more of a coral. I'm sorry, I keep getting them mixed up. It's just, I use them both all the time and I'm like, kind of at the point where it's just, I pick one up and I'm like throwing it on, but whatever. But Flower, um, Damselfly is also really pretty. And I have the other four in front of me just because I really wanted to show them to you. This is Gypsy. This is the Ballerina Pink. And this is really pretty on like, cooler skin tones or like lighter lasses. So pretty. There it is right here. Hope you can see that. Um, and then here's Songbird and that's a peachy pink. 
Love that one too. That one's really great if you've got a tan. Um, Sweet Pea, which is a rosy plum nude. And then here's Wild Honey, which is a peachy nude. So yeah, I tend to like gravitate to like toward matte blushes just because they're easier to kind of wear. They're just so much more forgiving if you've got like bigger pores on your cheeks. And plus they photograph really well. But even though these have like a bit of a shine to them, they photograph beautifully. And um, yeah, they don't like call out my pores or anything. So yay for that. Okay, um, uh, that is it for this episode of the Fab Five. I hope that you head on over to like the Becca counter and give these a go and perhaps find something that you love too. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.